Getting started with PWAs. In this section you'll learn how using progressive web app technology along with WebXR you can create an app that functions like a native app. It can be installed on your Oculus Quest 2 headset and can even be deployed to the Oculus Store. For this section I'm using the code editor VS Code. I switched all my coding to use this great editor and I highly recommend it. This section has its own resources and there's a link in the resources. Go to the GitHub repo, click the green code button. If you're familiar with Git repos then just copy the URL link. Alternatively choose the download zip option. If you choose the link then in VS Code select file new window. If Git is installed you will see clone git repository. Select this and paste the URL in the box. Then press the clone from URL button. Choose a folder to store the files. Once the repo is downloaded, select the open button and trust the authors. You're all set. If you went with the zip option, then unzip, choose file new window, then select open, selecting the unzip folder. To complete the example in this video, you'll need to upload your work to a remote server. If you don't have access to one, let me recommend tiny.host. It's free to use as long as no files bigger than 3 megabytes. OK, let's get started. If you're coding along, then open Simple Start. This is a super simple website. VS Code has a great extension called Live Server. I recommend installing it. But there is a problem. Live Server doesn't support WebXR. So for this course, stick with Web Server for Chrome. Best to use an incognito window so things loading in the background do not adversely affect reports as we develop the PWA. Now, press F12 and switch to the Lighthouse tab. Lighthouse is a great tool when developing web apps. Find a link to the Lighthouse documentation in the resources. Unselect all categories other than Progressive Web App, then press the Generate Report button. After a minute or so, it reports that the app is not PWA compatible. It lacks a service worker and a manifest file. Let's start to correct this. Firstly, the manifest file. At the root of the Start folder, create a file and call it manifest.json. You need a name. Call it Simple PWA Example and a short name. I'll use Simple PWA. Then we need a start URL. Just enter a dot. This will default to index.html. We set a background colour and a theme colour. We need to define a display mode. Use standalone. Finally we define a list of icons the app can use. This is an array. Each entry is an object defining the source, the SRC path, sizes, that's width times height, the MIME type, and for one icon, a purpose set to maskable. There's one more step to complete before your manifest is used by the app. In index.html, you need to add a link with rel manifest and the href manifest.json. Now you can check this using the application tab in Chrome Developer Tools. Select the manifest window, see how the name and short names are set. Theme colour and background colours are set, display is standalone, and the icons are set. We can move on to the service worker. What's a service worker? Well, service workers act as proxy servers. They sit between the web applications, the browser, and the network when it's available. They're intended, among other things, to enable the creation of effective offline experiences, as we'll see. So how do we create them? In the empty index.js file, add this code. If service worker in navigator, then we use the navigator service worker register method. This takes a path to a JavaScript file. 
we'll call it sw.js. This method returns a promise, so we use then. The return data registration will pass to console.log along with a simple message. Finally, we add a catch in case registration failed, logging a message and the error. But so far we have no sw.js file. Let's create it now. It must be at the root of the app, so it has access to all data. First we add an event listener for the install event. We log a short message, then we're going to cache some data. We use the event method wait until. Then using the caches object, we create a new cache using the open method. We'll call it static. We could use any name. This returns a promise. So we add a then method. Once the promise returns, we have a cache. We return the result of the add all method on this cache. Add all takes an array of items to cache. We add the root, the CSS file, an icon, and the index.js file. If we save the file and take a look in the browser, in the console tab we see install and sw registered. Install only happens once. Take a look at the applications tab and select service workers. Now we see the service worker. <laughs> We're making progress. Now we have cached data. We need to add some code to use the cached items. To do this, in sw.js, we add a new event listener, this time for the fetch event. The returned object has a respond with method. We use the caches object match method, passing the request property of the event data object. Again, this returns a promise, so we add a then method. The then method receives a response if the item we're trying to fetch is cached. We return it if it exists, or we return fetch request. Save and go back to the browser. Take a look at application service workers and notice now there are two service workers with the second one waiting to activate. By default, if you change the service worker, the previous version continues to be used. To activate the new one, Press the skip waiting link. Just two things left to do to finish this simple example. Add a theme color meta and a link for the Apple Touch icon rel. If we switch to a standard browser tab, not incognito, then we see the install button. Pressing install creates a standalone version of the app. Ray! We've made great progress. In the next video, we'll look how to turn the app into an Android APK that you can install on your Oculus Quest headset. See you in a minute. This video is part of my Learn to Create WebXR, VR and AR experiences using 3GS course. Get the complete course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.